Welcome to the CompuBox Academy. I'm Todd Grisham. Alongside me, Johnny Nelson. Hi, Todd. Nice to be here with you. It's time now for our tale of the tape. Larry Holmes. Watch out for that reach of 206 centimeters. He's also 191 centimeters tall and weighed in at 103 kilos. And his opponent, Muhammad Ali. He stands six foot three inches tall with a 78 inch reach. We'll be talking about this fight for years to come. This is one of those classic fights that everybody wants to see. And here comes the Eastern assassin, Larry Holmes, the man that beat Muhammad Ali, but never has really gotten his just due. Criminally underrated. Let's see what he's got in store for us in this one. He is the greatest of all time, Muhammad Ali, fighting out of Louisville, Kentucky. Float like a butterfly and sting like a bee. Oh, pure bad blood. And now for the official introductions, we turn it over to the world-renowned Jimmy Lennon Jr. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. Fighting out of the red corner, from Eastern Pennsylvania, here is one of boxing's all-time greats, the heavyweight champion of the world, known as the Eastern Assassin, introducing Larry Holmes. Hiding out of the blue corner, here is the Olympic gold medalist and legend of boxing, the only three-time lineal heavyweight champion of the world. He floats like a butterfly and stings like a bee. The one and only, the greatest, Muhammad Ali. A lot of trash talk between these two fighters. Now it's time to put up or shut up. This is the night. Everybody's looking forward to this night. The heat, the atmosphere, you could cut it with a knife. And what I say, you must obey. Good luck. Many said this fight would never happen, and yet, here it is, and here we go. I don't think it's going to be a boxing match. This is going to be a fight. Off the charts action from both of these fighters. Nice counter. You're not going to see a lot of finesse and skills from this guy. He wants to bury his forehead in your chest and pound away. You find the swarmer, you've got to protect everything. The body with the elbows, the head with the forearm. You've got to try and push them off balance because they will just stay in your face. Not many of the people in the division hit like them. fighter realizes that defense is one of the scoring criteria in boxing. Good counter punching. Oh, that punch. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. I'd like to see someone use a jab here to establish a boxing presence, but no, they just want to fight. It's a flat for the fight. If you've got a, a, a dancer out there in front, you've got to cut them off. Cut the wings off. Make the wings small. Put them on the back foot. Put them under pressure. Left punch. That left counter punch for score. This is with that jab. This is some of the best action I've seen in any round anywhere this year. They are giving us a high tempo show.
so much for boxing. This is a fist fight. She just gets out of the way of that right uppercut. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Pretty dominant round there. Let's see how they respond here in the next round. You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to you as the fighter. And the cornerman's got to put a firecracker on the fight to get out there and get the job done. And there's the bell to start round two. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Positives and negatives in the heavyweight division are the same. You can win the fight with one punch, and you can lose the fight in one punch. Because they're so big, because they can punch, because they've got the weight behind them, they may not be connecting, but trust me, when they connect, that's when this fight sets on fire, because somebody's going to get hurt, and someone's going to react. They miss with that jab. That counter shot lands. Punching for both these athletes. He blocks the right hook. This fighter's certainly not going to out throw their opponent by any means, but they will when they hit be a lot harder. Hard. We know one of these fighters can knock you out with a simple jab. They're that powerful. Both know who the bigger power puncher is. There's a significant power difference. How would you handle that? Perfect counter shot. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Skill for skill, tap for tap. It's like a match made in heaven. The greatest has been dazed. Muhammad Ali in trouble. back up on their feet, but I'm not sure why. Timing beats speed. Speed beats power. Through the hook, didn't land. to back out of the pocket here. Look how slow these punches are. Beautiful counter shot. Do you believe final 10 seconds here and this has not been his round for sure. Been knocked down, but at least not knocked out yet. I love the response, though. Got back up, took a deep breath, and thought, right, brush it off, get on with the job. The bell rings, and we start the third. We couldn't finish him off in the last round. Let's see what this has in store for us. That knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown. I'd be very, very surprised if he'll come out. Fresh as a daisy. That's not gonna happen. He's got a hustle now. He's got a he's got a bluff. This fighter is sort of the death by a thousand paper cuts approach. He'll hit you a thousand times before you can land one. You've got to ruffle their feathers, Todd. You cannot let them get comfortable, drag them, get them complaining to the referee. Because once somebody with excellent foot speed and excellent power gets in, if there's anyone that can get out of trouble, it's Muhammad Ali. Wait long to get back and get engaged. A 
I don't think it's going to be a boxing match. This is going to be a fight. Big shots from both of these fighters. Got to be careful, though. Great counter right hand there. These two were made for each other. You hear that old phrase, second win. You've got to find it somehow. And you've got two fighters that are absolutely shattered. What gets you through willpower, calm, because if you panic, you get desperate. If you get desperate, you make mistakes. If you make mistakes, you get knocked out. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Perfectly matched, skill for skill, tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. This is the beginning of the end for Muhammad Ali. Do you believe this? The greatest is down on the canvas. At some point, the corner may have to intervene here because this fighter won't stay down. That punch landed. Hey, those punches at. Who would have thought Ali would get rattled like this? Very important break here for this fighter. They've been knocked down twice. Corner might be thinking about stopping it here. And there's always a way back. Don't ever run anybody off. Here's the bell for round four. Let's see if they can shake off the cobwebs after a disastrous last round. Two knockdowns, and you're coming back from that. That's near on impossible because your head must be all over the place. Your legs. Muhammad Ali in trouble, but surely he'll find a way out. No, we don't see a knockdown. Nice job landing with that right hand counter. Got out of the way of that right hook. This fighter has tested their opponent's power and apparently isn't impressed as they continue to walk through all these power shots. Because you've got a good chin doesn't mean you've got leather for skin. It means you can still get caught. So you've got to go for those point areas over the eyebrow, the cheekbone. You've just got to try and cut them skimming. Go for speed. There's a counter shot. And he misses with that jab. Off the charts action from both of these fighters. The greatest has been dazed. Muhammad Ali in trouble. How is this fight still continuing? Changes from both men in this round. Nice punch. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dares do anything out of turn. Muhammad Ali in trouble. Do you believe this? The greatest is down on the canvas.
and gentlemen, a knockout victory and one of the biggest surprises of the year. <laughs> what a shot. What a shot. You see shots like that in the gym. At least for once, this is on TV. Thousands around the world saw that shot. They probably even heard it.